Greetings, fellow Korean professional StarCraft Brood Wars enthusiasts. This is uh, the person who you probably know under the moniker of Moltrap, and I uh, will be commentating a game this afternoon. Uh, this is part of the On Game Net Star League, and this is the first game of the round of eight, uh, otherwise known as the quarterfinals. And this is between Flash and Stork, and uh, this is also on Fantasy 2, by the way. <clears throat> the Stork being here in the Protoss in the red in the upper right, Flash being the Terran in the bottom right corner. Personally, I find this map uh, somewhat dissatis dissatisfactory because of the fact that the, uh, the starting positions are imbalanced. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see how it goes. Both, both of their positions are kind of... Uh, strange positions to start in, so it maybe it'll cancel itself out. And wow, was that? I wonder if that was a, a girl asking uh, someone to call her. That was kind of funny. Um, anyways, we see Stork here. Um, he's probably going for something tricky. We can tell because he hasn't started scouting yet. Usually, he'll send out his probe after that scout. I mean, sorry, after that uh, first pylon, he'll send out a scout. So we might be seeing him do a fast expansion, uh, which is a little bit risky, honestly, on his part. Um, <coughs> especially since Flash is kind of known for uh, doing uh, sort of risky cheese strategies. Uh, one might say that he is known for um, uh, retrieving excrement uh, out of his anal, ca anal cavity. Uh, and uh, using it to uh, defeat his opponents. Um, <clears throat> we do see here Storks going down, and it looks like he is going to plant that expansion, so he better uh, ex go scout right now, though. Uh, okay, he's, again, a little bit unwise on Stork's part, and is still not scouting, even after planting down that Nexus. Um, if, if Flash was doing, maybe he's uh, kind of using his mind here, uh, playing mind games. He might be ex expecting Flash to not cheese in this game because of the fact that uh, he's kind of known for it, and Stork it would be usually wary of that. I don't know. It's kind of a, you know, if I think that you think that I think that you think sort of thing, but... Anyways, we do see Flash um, <clears throat> going for a quick tech here, so Stork isn't in any particular danger, as a matter of fact. He's going to have to um, get goons out, dragoons out, before uh, Flash moves out with any mech, because Flash is probably going to get... Uh, I didn't see him actually getting... He's probably going to get um, some vultures or tanks pretty quick, and then he's going to push out just to probe and, and uh, <clears throat> see what Stork has. And uh, Stork's going to have to be ready for that when it comes. So he's going to have to have Dragoons, basically, to deal with any ranged units that, uh, other than Marines, that he sends in. And there we see he is getting that Cybernetics Core and, and another uh, Gateway down, so he's getting prepared for that indeed. Um, in the meantime, Stork finally scouting out. He got lucky and he scouted in the right spot. Um, in the meantime, though, uh, it's Flash also scouting Stork out, so he's going to see that now and see that uh, Stork has gone for that fast expansion. Looks like he's sending out his Marines here. He's going to try and push out a little bit and try and harass Stork since he has that opportunity. Um, <clears throat> sending out those Marines and uh, Flash also getting his expansion down now as well. So. Um, Again, that's kind of why Stork is safe here, is because Flash... No! Oh, no, I'm sorry, he didn't even get an expansion down. I thought I w had missed the fact that he got an expansion. So, uh, Flash actually setting out a bunch of SCVs. He's trying to take advantage of the fact that, that Stork is behind economically here. Uh, or behind, uh, as far as uh, strategically, rather. He doesn't have many units on the ground. So, he's pushing out with a bunch of SCVs. Looks like he's going to try and do some kind of a bunker rush or something like that. Um, Stork's setting out all those probes here to, to counter the SCVs. He does have... Uh, yeah, he is building a bunker in Stork's base next to his Nexus. Um, this is extremely uh, bad for Stork, although he, I think he can probably hold it off. That that uh, Vulture is going to be bad news, though. The Zealot coming in, he's going to kill off a couple Marines, which is good for him. He's getting Dragoons out as well, so those two gateways are now pumping out Dragoons. I have a feeling that this um, this, this Gambit will have failed. If he can get that Marine in that bunker, that'll be bad news as well. But he's, oh, oh, he oh, barely does not pick off that, that Marine before it goes in the bunker. Extremely, extremely bad luck for Stork. That shot went off and it just did not hit um, before uh, the Marine got in the bunker. So, um, really, things looking rather bad for Stork here. Uh, he's still mining off that expansion. The, the bunker is only in position to hit the Nexus, so uh, Stork has some time basically to deal with this because of uh, just kind of the. And yeah, Stork's sending out a couple goons there to try and 
uh, sending out Egun rather to try and pick off reinforcements so he can't get any more Marines into that bunker there. And in the meantime, he's trying to pick off those SCVs as well because he doesn't want him to be able to repair that uh, that bunker. One Dragoon goes down, uh, several probes attacking the pylon, uh, I'm sorry, the, the bunker now. And it looks like he's probably going to be able to hold this off. Uh, he's going to have two more goons coming down that ramp in just a second. And uh, that bunker is now burning down, so he's actually going to pull back and just let it burn uh, with Flash not having more SCVs in the area. He's holding that goon nearby so that he can pick off any SCVs that try and repair it. Um, and yeah, he's, now he goes in for the kill with that extra goon coming down there. And the bunker has been defeated. He still has some Marines on the ground, though. This still isn't completely out of the clear for Stork. And uh, he's picking off one Dragoon, the other Dragoon falling back. Uh, Stork really needs to send some more troops out there. Uh, he's, now he's falling back. Another bunker being built in his base. And um, again, things looking looking rather bad for Stork. Uh, if anyone can hold this off, it is Stork, though. He is pumping two, two Dragoons out of two gateways. Um, uh, continuously now. He does have significant intake in his main. He sent his probes back there. And he picks off the, the SCV before the bunker is created. Flash has to cancel the bunker. Stork has fought off this attack by Flash. Wow. So, uh, that was absolutely amazing. Flash uh, barely being pushed back there. It looks like he's not gonna... It looks like now he's falling back to a standard plan. He's building another command center to take that expansion. He realized that his, his little gambit there uh, failed. Um, I have to hand it to Flash. That is, I mean, that was absolutely brilliant. He he knows how to try and take advantage of, of uh, an advantage when he has it. Um, and that was brilliant, absolutely brilliant play by him. Taking a risk there, and it really... Um, that is, I think, what's what needs to be at the heart of StarCraft. A lot of players don't aren't taking those risks like that, and I, I have to give it to Flash. I just he just earned a lot of respect in my book because uh, that was not just a, a cheesy bunker rush. That was him seizing that moment and trying to, to uh, use the fact that he knew that he had that that military advantage um, <coughs> to, uh, to try and press it home there. So well done by by uh, Stork though holding that off. That was absolutely brilliantly played by Stork holding that off. Um, now it's going to be uh, a sort of a, a more long-term battle. Uh, Stork having fought that off, and uh, uh, Flash now going for that expansion. He does have uh, some technology, though. He has those siege tanks there. Uh, he is putting out siege tanks at the moment. So um, <clears throat> very well done. And uh, Stork, you see, switching to uh, Reaver Drop. By the way, he's getting that uh, that um, uh, robot. Oh, actually, he's getting a robotic support bay before Observatory. So I guess he figures that that uh, Flash had spent so much money on. Um, on that little gambit there that he had not gotten uh, uh, mines or anything like that. So he's actually getting um, his uh, robotic support bay out first, trying to get Reavers out, which is actually pretty smart because he's going to need Reavers against uh, tanks anyway. So um, 